Please don't cry too here with you, bringing you another Battlefield Hardline video for your viewing pleasure. Thank you all so much for coming by and checking it out. I really do appreciate it. In this video, what I'm actually going to teach you guys, I'm going to teach you all about Legendary. So I'm going to tell you what Legendary is, what it takes to go Legendary, also some tips and tricks so it makes it a little less painful, and some other things to actually expect when you go legendary so stay tuned for that but i'm going to explain this little outline here that i got going on a little bit more that battlefield hardline live i actually do twitch stream this game quite a bit so if you guys have questions concerns or what have you, you can hit me up in the comment section below obviously or you guys can come by the twitch stream and hang out i usually stream nightly eastern standard time 6 p.m to 8 p.m so if you guys wanted to stop by i would very much appreciate it outside of that let's go ahead and get into this video here all right so if we want to go legendary, we have this little become legendary thing here, all right? Typically, this will say, you know, what it takes to become legendary, but since I'm already level 150, it says, congratulations on reaching level 150. Now prove to the world's best that you are also legendary. Now, I'm actually currently level 2 legendary and about to go third legendary, but this pretty much says the same exact thing no matter what level you're at versus not being legendary or having legendary. So what legendary is, is... By becoming legendary, your money, gear, weapons, and syndicate weapon assignments will reset to zero. Customized gun, bench weapons, or outfits will also be reset. In exchange, your rank will enter the legendary tier. You will earn a new rank emblem that will appear on your profile scoreboard and kill card. You will also receive a 5% increase to all in-game cash earned per level of legendary. And all masks will be unlocked. Gear and weapons from pre-order entitlements and short kits, shortcut kits will be carried over. All stats, service stars, and unused vouchers received from battle packs will also be carried over. So what does all this mean here? Okay, I'm sure you all can read and could have just sat here and read this, but I'm going to actually explain what this means. So any guns that we've unlocked, okay, those are all going to be reset. We will have to go ahead and buy those again, okay? Basically, anything that's unlocked via an assignment... All right, so if we did an, like a syndicate assignment or something like that, that's all going to be reset. All right, we were going to start back at level zero and then go to level one and two and so on. All right, so if you first start off here, once you see that, you can kind of see it behind. You got that skull and it's going to be the three symbol there. Well, it's going to go in Roman numerals. So that's basically all that's going to change as you go up through the levels. All right, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. But it's just, for me, the reason why I go legendary is it's a nice... Thing to keep going I don't like you know in games and things like that when you reach that max level and it just doesn't feel like you're accomplishing anything anymore I like the challenge of going legendary okay but there are also some positive things that you actually do get from legendary you unlock all the masks which is great okay you get 5% more XP gain each level of legendary that you go so what that means actually is, so Legendary 1, you get 5% extra. Legendary 2, you have 10% extra, or 10% boost towards your XP. It would be 10% more than somebody at original level, if that makes sense. Legendary 3, I will be getting 15% more than somebody that hasn't gone Legendary, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, that is a great way, and it goes all the way up till level 15, is the max Legendary level at this point. All right, but we will go ahead and have to reset all our customized guns. So if we've made anything in the gun bench or anything like that, that's all going to be reset. Not a big deal. It doesn't take long to set everything up as far as our gun bench goes. Plus, it also have, you know, has a chance to like refresh in your mind of what you actually have customized and things like that. You might end up using a new gun or doing something like that. I think it kind of breaks you out of your shell a little bit and kind of breaks you out of that, you know, I do this every single time. And, you know, it does take a little bit to get used to, but it is a really good way to, uh, you know, update your mind. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, other things that you get, you get a new card. So you get the little kill card, you know, when somebody, or when you kill someone, or when somebody kills you, you know how that little uh, bar shows up at the bottom? Well, when you kill someone, your card will be different than theirs. So you'll have the standard one, which is like blue, and then the one when you go legendary, it's almost like a reddish-orange color, which is really cool looking. That is what you'll have once you actually do go legendary, okay? So that's a really nice added little perk there, all right? Um, but anything that you've got via kills will not be reset. Okay, so let's say um, I've gotten a weapon license with the Scar Age, for instance, okay? If you have 1,250 kills with that particular weapon, 
All right, all you have to do is repurchase the weapon license. You don't have to get 1,250 kills all over again. Okay, so no matter what you have, like let's say even our uh, stats or our customization, things like that. Um, so like let's say if I'm customizing this gun, obviously right now I'm in the customization here. Let me go ahead and break down to something like this. All right, so the kills that I've that it took me to get to here, all right, this won't be reset. I'll just have to repurchase either this Cobra site, this Hollow site, and what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and go Legendary. That way I can show you guys all that stuff. But before I do go Legendary, I want to show you one tip that is very crucial to go ahead and getting um, or making it much easier for going Legendary. All right, and that is you want to go ahead and spend all of your money on Battle Packs. And the reason for that is all your cash is going to be reset to zero. But your inventory, your vouchers, things like that will not be. So if you have a bunch of these, you know, uh, elite outfit vouchers or paint vouchers, these things you can actually sell for 5,000 as you see it down there. So each time I have one of these, if I sell it once I go legendary, I will be able to get $5,000 back into my bank. So that's going to help us out a bunch when we go ahead and go legendary. That way we're not uh, starting off at zero dollars. We can go ahead and buy a couple of guns that we want to and we're not running around with the RO933 or whatever the base setup is like a scout elite for professional and so on and so forth. Okay, so let me go ahead and go legendary. And I did actually open up all my battle packs in the previous video where I did one point nine million dollars of battle packs. So if you guys want to check out and see what I got out of that, feel free. I would very much appreciate it. Uh, very much appreciate it but without further ado let's go ahead and become legendary so it's going to go ahead and bring up the screen here are you sure you want to become legendary your current money gear weapons and syndicate weapon assignments will be reset gear and weapons from pre-order entitlements and shortcut kits will be carried over all stats service stars and unused vouchers received from battle packs will also be carried over yes we want to go boom <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I forgot all about that. And apparently, another bonus is you get to hear, um, I believe that's Neebs screaming out loud. Uh, I'm not saying if he's sure if he's saying legendary or what have you. Now, a quick note, things that you will need to have legendary or to be able to go legendary. You're going to need to either have the robbery DLC or you're going to have to have premium. So if you don't have either of those, that won't show up the what is legendary. I will probably say that in the description below because I know it's kind of far into this video that I'm saying this. I probably should have said this further along. But for those of you that are still with me, those are things that you're going to need. So if you're looking for it and wonder why it's not there, that's why. Okay. So here it says, congratulations, you are now legendary. You have an exclusive new rank emblem, which will appear on your profile, scoreboard, and kill card. You will also receive a 5% increase per level of legendary to all in-game cash earned. All masks have been unlocked. And then it says, connect to any multiplayer server to see your legendary rank activated. So, for those of you that are saying, I just went legendary, and then you go to your battle packs and you're like, well, why does it still say $124 or however much money you got in there? Oh, he must have lied to me. That's not true. It's not until you actually go ahead and get into a server that it will actually reset to zero. And I'll actually show you that now. Let's just go ahead and get in whatever one we have here. I was playing some Conquest earlier. I'm just going to jump into this game to go ahead and show you guys basically all that is there. Almost there. Alrighty. So now that we're in here, obviously you can see, boom, everything has been set back to default. So our operator class, our mechanic class, all this stuff is back to default here. And then as we go ahead and we actually look at our loadouts, loadout, you can see that, oh, you bastard. Oh, I killed myself. No. Well, I want to go ahead and show you guys that. Torch me. Torch me to live! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> nice. Alright, so let's go ahead. It's priceless. That was totally worth it. So if I go to buy something, you can see cash to spend zero dollars. So that all gets reset. And here are all those sites. So we will have to go ahead and rebuy all this stuff. Alright. But you'll notice if I go down here to my Scar H. Oh, I haven't purchased it yet. But once I go ahead and do purchase it. It will show me the ability to go ahead and get that weapon license and things like that. But you will have to go ahead and purchase all your weapons all over again. Gadgets, everything. 
So Legendary obviously isn't for everyone, but for those that do, there are rewards for it. I truly enjoy it. Maybe you will too. That's pretty much it for this video. I just want to say thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Please don't cry too here with you. Make sure you guys hit me up in that comment section below. Let me know if you have gone Legendary, if you plan to go Legendary, or think it's silly and don't think you're ever going to do it. Um, I would appreciate if you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. I do have a bunch more Hardline tutorials coming out and uh, here really soon. So thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.